When I was 13 years old, I saw the movie Kid Galahad. And I was a big Elvis fan. My parents were a big Elvis fan. And so after I got home from the movie, I told my dad, I said, I want to be a boxer. I just saw Elvis and Kid Galahad, and I want to be a boxer. And my dad had boxed when he was in the Army. So he became my first boxing coach and started taking me to the gym. In 1971, after I won the USA and North American titles, um, I got a lot of publicity in the local newspapers. And I also did a little singing on the side, something else I picked up from Elvis. And a friend of mine set me up to be on Talent Party. Uh, and that's where I met George Klein. And I told George my story, how I had seen Kid Galahad as a kid, and that uh, that's what got me interested in boxing. So before I left the show, George asked me if I would like to meet Elvis the next time he was in town. And I said, absolutely. So I gave George my number. And a few months later, he called me and said, Joey, Elvis is uh, in town. And why don't you be at the Crosstown Theater at midnight? Um, I can't remember if it was a Friday night or a Saturday night. And he said, uh, I'll introduce you. So I showed up that night. And I can remember walking in the Crosstown Theater. And two big guys walked up to me and asked me, what was I doing there? And I said, well, I'm here to meet Elvis. And they said, well, you may see him from a distance. And he said, that's fine. But if you try to approach him, we're going to throw you out. And right at that time, George walked up and uh, said, Joey, hey, man, how you doing? Come on, come on, come on down here. I want to introduce you to Elvis. So George took me down into the theater. And Elvis was sitting about in the middle of it. And uh, George uh, walked up and said, Elvis, this is Joey Hadley, the guy that I told you got interested in boxing because of Kid Galahad. And Elvis turned around and stood up and shook my hand. And I remember he had a white jumpsuit on. He looked really, really, you know, real good. And we talked for about five minutes. And I don't really remember a whole lot of what we talked about because I was kind of starstruck. Um, and then uh, after about five minutes, the movie started coming on. And Elvis said, Joey, sit down and, you know, enjoy the movie. So uh, I sat down, and I was right behind Elvis. Uh, my emotions were just uh, had the best of me, and I just wanted to go home and, and tell my parents. And I can remember waking them up and saying, I just met Elvis, and he shook my hand, and I'm never going to wash this hand again. And then a couple of years later, I was on the United States boxing team, and we were going to fight the Russians out in Las Vegas. And I called George Klein and asked George if he would get in touch with Elvis and invite him to the fights. I think the fights were held at Caesar's Palace. And um, George, he, he called Elvis and invited him. But Elvis didn't come to the fights, but all his bodyguards did. And that was where I met Red West and uh, all the other guys. And they, uh, after the fight was over, they invited uh, me and my dad and my boxing coach to Elvis's show that night. And we had great seats, I and mean, we were right down in front of the stage, and the show was just killer. And after the show, they invited us back to Elvis's suite for a party. And J.D. Sumner and the Stamps and everybody was there. Um, Linda Thompson was there, and I had gone to high school at Kingsbury with Linda. She was a couple of years older than me, but we knew each other. And I got to visit with Linda, uh, but certainly the most fun was uh, talking to Elvis and visiting with him. And that's where he gave me an autograph, this album, uh, Aloha from Hawaii. He had, he had just finished that concert. And I don't believe the album had been released yet. Also that night, uh, I had this picture taken, which this is my boxing coat. And that's my dad. And that's me. That's the way I looked that night. I, you know, I had a cut under my eye uh, uh, in the fight, and I had broken my right thumb. Many people meet Elvis and have encounters with him and, and uh, always remember it, but my encounter with Elvis changed my life.